This is a uh, brake pad removal and replacement Vulcan 900. Uh, this bike is a classic. I doubt there's any difference between the custom and the classic other than maybe a little more clearance room with the front fender. So starting off you need to get the brake hose to be loosened out of its holding. The little rubber grommet if you grab it and turn and pull it'll slide right out. Then the hose itself is able to come free. Now in order to get the rest of it out you may need to loosen the banjo bolt but if you loosen it too much you'll lose fluid. So you just gotta barely loosen it so you get a little bit of play. I may adjust that more later. Caliper my oh, banjo bolts uh, 12 millimeter also the caliper mounting bolts are also 12 millimeter. Uh, for reattachment you it's use a torque wrench so you can set her down to the 25 foot pounds needed. I've obviously already pretty loose in these. So we loosen the caliper bolts. So now it should drop down and give you just enough clearance to kind of turn and tilt it out. And that's where having that hose loose. Now, caliper's loose. Obviously these are new brake pads. I'm showing you video post replacement already. There is a little spring clip down on this end right here. So, taking a small screwdriver. <clears throat> can just pop the spring clip loose. Jesus clip. Now that pin there, it has a head on it, but it's it, it doesn't thread, it just pulls out. Um, I did use a head earlier to get it turned because it was a little tight. So after that's done, the outside pad will hinge up, slide off, and the inside pad will pop out. Now I did a cleaned everything up, applied a, just a very light amount of grease to the pistons, and to the opposite side of the slide. Um, these are obviously new calipers. These are EBC uh, centered double H pads. The uh, old pads actually weren't in very bad shape considering that they had 19,000 miles on them and were the factory original pads. Um, as you can see here, not a very much difference in diameter or thickness of the pad um, but since I bought them and was halfway through I figured I would just do it anyhow and then also my outside pad had a chunk missing out of it not sure if there was a rock dragging in there or what was really going on because the rotors look halfway decent so Reinstalling the pads. Small little metal clip at the end. Just kind of clip it under. Slide the new pad on. The opposite side hinges, drops into place, kind of sits there. So other slide pin which I also did apply a slight amount of grease to. I usually I use a uh, synthetic brake grease. Um, I get a uh, two ounce tube. So it's pretty much what I use on everything. 
And then the little pin, there's a little hole, make sure you line her up. And it just slides. So well, it's supposed to just slide right on and through. So now is the trick of getting it back in. You gotta make sure you got the pads are spread well enough. And we're back on. And mounting bolts. Give them a slight snug, transfer over to the torque wrench. Now they're on and tight. Now it goes back to the brake line. And it's got that split rubber grommet. Get it in part of the way, taking a path, and then just turn it back into place. Much easier. When I first did this, I tried to pry it out by going up and down for quite a while. <laughs> and then realized I could just pull it out. Uh, so then the hose. Now you gotta just tweak that banjo bolt just slightly. And the banjo bolt is is the same, or actually it's 18 foot pounds of torque on the banjo bolt, but since I can't get my torque wrench in there even if I had a regular didn't have to have the socket adapter on there 18 foot pounds is not very much and a standard box end wrench gives you more than enough and that is a replacement of caliper brake pads on a Vulcan 900